What's good, YouTube? Hit me at X. Make sure I hit that like, hit that sub. Show your boy some love. So, uh, first of all, shout out to the Phoenix Suns for snapping this three-game losing streak that we were on uh, before this game. And uh, beating the Red Hot Golden State Warriors, man. The Golden State Warriors have been on the street. They've been out here uh, kicking ass and taking names, right? Been one of the streakiest teams in the league. And um, without Devin Booker for us to come out here and perform the way we did on national TV, I was thoroughly impressed. Um, the first takeaway I got from this from this game was um, the ball movement, man. That's the first, that's the biggest takeaway from this game. Um uh, I've been always preaching, oh, we need to go back to the point five offense. We need to share the ball more. You need to see that ball skipping around like you used to. And last night was one of the first games I've seen the ball moving the way it was supposed to. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, we had 30 assists. Let me see, 34 assists. 34 assists is exactly where we need to be. 30 plus. We need to be over 30 every game. You know, I don't, I don't look to CP3 to get us 10 plus assists. I know that he can, but if CP3 is out there going for 14, 15 assists, nine times out of 10, we're gonna lose. Because you're, you, the ball is sticking with one player, and he's looking for open players as opposed to, listen, we break the defense down by our ball movement. I mean, I, I think that's common sense, you know? I've never been a proponent of coming down on Monty Williams' system. I was more coming down on his rotations, which I feel like that's a valid criticism of Monty Williams. He does have suspect uh, rotations. Yes, he does. But as far as his, his scheme, I wouldn't even call it a scheme, his system, like I said. His system is foolproof. Like I said, the San Antonio Spurs won it, won with that type of system. The Golden State Warriors won with that type of system. Why can't we? You know, We play like this every game. We will win basketball games. But um, shout out to uh, Mikael Bridges, 20 points. Uh, he led us in scoring. Uh, he started off. He started off kind of cold, but he he caught he, he caught he caught fire a little bit later on. He, he wasn't shooting as much as many threes as he usually does, which is great. I think he went one for four from the three. Um, but all in all, he, a solid over all around game. They had him on Steph Curry. He did a great job containing Steph Curry, even though Steph Curry had 27, uh, 50 percent from the field, 50 uh, percent from the three. But it wasn't a, it wasn't an easy. It wasn't an easy 27. And it, damn, if I'm not mistaken, I don't know, I was about to say, I thought he had, he had all his points from the three. But um, yeah, 10 for 20 from the uh, field, five for 10 from the three point line. But it wasn't an easy 50% from the field. It wasn't an easy 27 points. Mikael Bridges made him have to work for it, you know? And that's all you ask for from Mikael Bridges. I feel like that's his best, his best fit is on the perimeter guarding perimeter guards. I don't need him in the post trying to guard somebody in the block. That's when we in trouble. Uh, Cam Johnson, 13 points, five rebounds, two assists. Solid game from him. Uh, he did a great job attacking the basket. Uh, that's all I need to see from him. Uh, Jay Crowder, 16 points, nine rebounds, three assists, uh, four for eight from the field. I mean, he cleaned up his uh, his shooting, you know. It, it was a decent game, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, he was... It was a decent game. I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna come down on Jay Crowder after this. Great way to respond to the last game. Cause that last game was horrible. So I ain't mad at Jay. I ain't, I ain't got nothing to say about Jay Crowder today. Yeah, y'all I mean, know what? Y'all know how I am, and how I feel about Jay Crowder. But I ain't got shit to say about him. Uh, Chris Paul, 13 points, three rebounds, four assists. Like I said, it wasn't more about the stats with him. Uh, I feel like he embraced the point five offense last night, and uh, you can, you can see him getting players to where they need to be, initiating the offense. That's exactly what we need you to be, Chris Paul. We need you to be our leader. We don't need y'all to we, you to be the facilitator and oh, I'm gonna find you in this spot, get here, and I'm gonna catch you. I'm the greatest. We we know you're one of the greatest point guards of all time, right? But we have a system in play that we need you to be integrated in. It's not me trying to denigrate or, or disrespect Chris Paul in any any way. I'm just saying, look, it's not about individual play with me. It's about the whole team play. Right, if we're averaging over 30 assists a game, that means our team is playing well. And that's what I care about. I don't care about individual stats. Um, DeAndre Aiden, 12 and 13, uh, another solid game, a decent game. You know, like I said, he wasn't that aggressive. Well, he was aggressive. I ain't gonna lie. When he did get the ball in the post, he was aggressive at times. But they, they did a great job trying to take take that away. Um, but I, I can't, I can't, I can't complain about DeAndre Aiden play. If you complain about DeAndre Aiden play after last night, you just nitpicking. 
that's all I can say. Uh, Abdel Nader, he was very um, aggressive in his shot selection, man. I, I, I kind of like his, I like his game. I ain't gonna lie, but uh, it's at times where the ball sticks with him. It's kind of like um, Kelly Oubre. You know how Kelly Oubre, as soon as he touched the ball, he's looking to get his offense. That's how I see Abdel Nader, man. And it, it, a lot of times, I'm, I'm looking at him like, dude, why are you shooting? Like, what are you doing, homie? Who do you think you are? Like, calm down. Like, we need to – like, it was a couple of times where he he elected to shoot a shot or um, take a drive when he had wide open passes he could have hit, you know, and he, he'll miss the shot. Like, I can't – like I said, I can't nitpick on it because we won, but at the end of the day, like, we got to do a better job in getting more players involved. I don't, I don't – I do not like that ball sticking in your hand shit, you know. I, I understand a, a player too, okay, you want to go for your offense, cool. But if, if I'm expecting you to – Initiate your own offense every time you touch the ball. That's a problem, in my opinion. But uh, 16 points, five rebounds, three assists is not bad in any way. But uh, six for 15, <clears throat> not too good. Uh, two for five from the three. Uh, he hit a couple of threes late in the uh, game when the game was pretty much over. So, like I said, outside of that, it wasn't really too. It was I wasn't really too impressed with his sh with his shot selection. You know, his shot selection needs to be touched up. Uh, Frank Kaminsky, 12 points, 13 rebounds, 8 assists. Look, this is one of his best games of the season. I got to get – hey, look, I got to take my hat off and I got to eat crow for for a lot of players to, today, man. Frank Kaminsky, Jay Crowder came – stepped up last night. They did. I ain't going to lie to you. Uh, 12 points, <clears throat> 13 rebounds, 8 assists. Like I said, he – I feel like that bench unit – was was led by Frank Kaminsky. I, I can't believe I, I cannot believe I'm saying this, but Frank Kaminsky and I came into this game thinking he was gonna get his ass fried. He did a great job on the defensive end and the offensive end. Got to take my hat off to this dude, man. Uh, eight assists is, is something I did not see coming, but um, like I said, that's that's a, that's a credit to that point five offense, man. You gotta get gotta give money with his credit. A lot of people was calling him overrated, saying he was trash, this and that, but um, hey hey, he proved y'all wrong last night. Uh, Langston Galloway, eight, eight, eight points, five rebounds, three assists. <clears throat> he got some minutes. That's all. That's all I wanted to see was Langston Galloway get some minutes. And when he's on the court, you never know. He could go for 17 points in three minutes. You know, you never know with, with Langston Galloway. So with him on the court, he's automatically a threat, regardless. I, I love. I love the fact they actually gave him minutes. Thank you, Monty Williams. But um, outside of that, nothing. Nothing too spectacular. Uh, like I said, this is a great win for us, man. This is. Definitely a great win for us. Uh, we, we shook that, that little losing streak we was on. Uh, I feel like not having Devin Booker actually helped us get our identity, if that makes any sense. So now when Devin Booker comes, everybody's acclimated and they're comfortable. Devin Booker can just fall right in line and we can get back to the, to the Phoenix Suns offense that we're used to seeing. You know, I'm, I'm taking, I'm, look, I, I like to take bad situations because we, look, like I said, going one and three, Without Devin Booker, it's not good in any way. Or did we go one and two? We, something like that. But at the end of the day, we can look at it a positive. Is that Devin Booker will be back next game. And we'll be more comfortable around. I feel like we'll be a better team when Devin Booker comes because we finally have the identity. Devin Booker will be our number one option. Um, Chris Paul, I don't feel like he'll be looking for his assist so much. Right? It's just about who's going to be our number two. And I feel like DeAndre Ayton has to embrace that number two option. It cannot be Mikael Bridges. It cannot be Jay Crowder. Right? It can't be Chris Paul. It has to be DeAndre Ayton. Period, point blank. But I'll talk about that on another video because I don't want to go too much on it. Uh, Hitman next. Make sure I hit that comment section. Let me know how you feel about this one. I'm out of here.